y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm nika if you're new welcome back to another video so this video is going to be a basic um uh, makeup tutorial for beginners and starters y'all like my nails i got them done the other day they so cute i got the v-cut white french tips yeah something different but yeah so we're gonna start off by um well when i first do my makeup i always start with my eyebrows so we're gonna start by brushing them we'll go ahead and brush them brush both Brush them up and out to the side. Both of them up and out to the side. And I normally have a unibrow, but for some reason, the hair between my eyebrows stopped growing. And I'm glad and happy about that. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and take the razor. We're gonna clean it up some. Um, my eyebrows get very bushy when I don't clean them up like above and up under where the arch is. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that up clean up under there do the other side the same way get all the extra hairs clean your arch you're gonna go back in and brush them again All right, so right here, I'm about to use this black eyeliner by NK to outline my eyebrows. I always outline my eyebrows first, but this is the um, liner that I have. And you're just gonna simply outline it, outline the hair. So basically draw a line on your hairline of your eyebrows. And yes, this is black and my eyebrows are brown, but trust me, you gotta trust the process. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. So look, once you outline it, you see how that looks? All right, you're gonna go on, go ahead and do the other side. Outline it, do the top, and make sure the ends connect. just like that all right so once you are done outlining you're gonna take a brown eyebrow pencil or a brown eyeliner and um you basically just gonna fill it in from the line that you drew just basically like coloring in between the lines that's all just stay in the line fill your eyebrows in just like that see that they are already looking better. You're going to do the other side the same way. Don't worry if one side is bigger than the other because once you go in to clean it up with the concealer, it's going to, you're going to make it pop. So that's how it's going to look. All right, so once you're done filling them in, you're gonna go ahead and get your brush and brush your brows again. Brush both sides. And after that, we're gonna go in with I Envy Brown Eyebrow Pomade. You can find this at any beauty supply store. I just got brown. And I use um, a fine brush dip it in and it's gonna be kind of like painting your eyebrows you're gonna go over it so that's basically setting your eyebrows with you know the brown eyeliner that you already then filled it in with so you go over it with the pomade and keeps it in place and make sure when you do it you paint it with the angle of the brush. And this stuff right here is pretty hard, so you gotta dip it in a couple amount of times. 
you're gonna do the other side the same way like I said it's just like painting your eyebrows but it's basically just setting them all right so once you're done with that we're gonna go in with the LA girl pro concealer and this is the same concealer that I use on my face but um, I always use it on my eyebrows first I use a q-tip and I just put like a small dot on the q-tip and then I put like a couple of dots up under on top just like that and you're gonna do both sides the same way up under on top yep just like that and then you're gonna use that same q-tip to um, basically clean your eyebrows up so it's kind of like you got to stay right on the edge of the eyebrow and that's what's gonna make make it pop it's gonna make your eyebrows stand out So yeah, you're gonna basically do that to one side, do it to the same, the same way on the other side. And if you don't have enough concealer on your Q-tip, you can always put another dab on there. Okay, so next I am gonna use uh, my sister's eyelash company this is mink eyelash company and this style right here is narcotic I will link it down in the description below so make sure you guys go shop with her mink eyelash company and this is uh yeah these are so nice and just check out the, the packaging she she went all out with her packaging but yeah these are uh, 3d mink lashes so we're gonna go ahead and it comes with this pen the applicator pen the tweezers and a spoolie brush so we're gonna go ahead and take the lash off I always prep my lashes beforehand all right so you're gonna get your pen the easiest way to do this part is to like pull your eye over like that just like that and you're gonna draw the line on your eyelash but kind of above on the eye line the eye line of the eyelash so that's what I'm doing right here just like that and you're gonna get your tweezers and your lash like this make 
make sure your tweezers are in the same direction of which eye you're gonna put your eyelash on. I know some people get it backwards, but I'm putting this one on. So you just hold your eye slanted, line it up with the applicator glue. But this is some of the best applicator glue because it doesn't stick too, too. You, you don't pull your original lashes off when you take these lashes off. And I have it on just like that. Line it up, make sure it's in place. Use your fingernail or something to just like poke it and make sure it's on the line. Bada bing, bada boom, just like that. Too easy. So we got one side on. Gonna do the same to the other side. You're gonna get the applicator pin again. And you're gonna pull your eye slanted. And you're gonna go ahead and draw that line and apply the lash. So since we're doing a natural look, this is a like a new kind of lipstick. These are little mini lipsticks um, that were a gift to me. So yeah, you're gonna go in with this new, sometimes it doesn't show up, but you can still see it though. Like you just gotta put a lot. So you're gonna go in with this new lipstick. Just like that. All right, after that, look, I got another hack for y'all. So this is LA Colors eyeshadow, and I'm going in with that dark brown, and I'm gonna outline my lips. That's right, with eyeshadow. This is a hack that I came up with by myself, but it actually works. Trust me, it works. So if you have some dark eyeshadow, try this, and I promise you, you'll be like, wow, that's dope, and it stays on. So you're gonna outline your lips to give it that gradient effect, you're gonna outline your lips in that dark brown um, eyeshadow. Start with the top first and then do the bottom. Just like that. So you can't really tell right now, but you're gonna add a little bit more lipstick after you outline your lips. Now, if you have lip liner, then you can do that too. I have lip liner, but I choose to use eyeshadow because for some odd reason, eyeshadow sticks longer than lip liner does, in my opinion. But you're gonna go in with that brown liner and you're gonna put that on, on top of it. Yep, any color. A lot of people use black, but I use brown because I'm going for a natural look. So, and black stands out a little too much. So I just choose to use brown. But we're gonna go in again with that new lipstick. And you're gonna put it not on the lip liner, but like in the middle of your lips. So I choose to close my lips like this and do it. That's an easier way to do it. Just like that. And then we're gonna go in with the coconut oil lip gloss. You can find this at any beauty supply store. Only a few dabs of that. You don't want too, too much. Just to give it like a shine, like a gloss. 
So right here, I'm gonna go in with this white eyeliner. It's by NYX. You can find this at any beauty supply store. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom eyelid of my eye. Normally I do black, but this time I want to try something different and do white, cause I know I see a lot of people with white and it makes your eyes pop. So we're gonna go in with that. Make sure you don't put too, too much because that white does stand out. So you wanna put enough, but not too much. So we're gonna go ahead and line both eyes, eyelids with the white eyeliner. You see that? You see how it makes your eye pop a little bit? And then we're gonna do the other side. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my concealer and I got my sponge, same concealer LA Girl. And I always just use my finger. I always put it like on my forehead first. So I put some in the middle, up under my eyes. My cheeks, my chin. A little bit more on my forehead because it's pretty big <laughs> but hey don't judge my forehead and yeah i put some on my nose now my nose ring is pretty much healed for the most part but i still don't like to try to put like makeup around it because it can get infected so right here we're going to go ahead and blend this concealer in blend everything in with your sponge blend it all the way in all in Make sure you get your hairline too. Just blend everything in. So right here, this is me attempting to contour my nose. This is my first time ever trying it. I did a pretty decent job. Um, I wasn't trying to get anything on my nose ring, of course, but yeah. Once you put that on, go ahead and blend it in as well. And so we're gonna go in with this white eyeshadow. And with this white eyeshadow, I'm just gonna use a little bit to put in the crease of my eye. Just a few little dabs, just like that. And then you're gonna blend it in with your sponge. You don't wanna put too much. You just wanna put just a little bit. It gives your eye, it gives your eyes that like glimmer type of look between your eyes just a little bit more on both sides and this is the finished look this is a basic look a basic beginner look i hope you guys enjoy make sure you like comment share subscribe and don't forget to click on that notification bell smash that like button and I'll be back with more tutorials. This was just a beginner look and I hope you guys enjoyed.